Hey, hey. Happy New Year. Merry Krilf. Merry Krilf. Happy New Year. Yeah, y'all bear with us till we get this mic fixed on the fiddle and hear the fiddle too. We'll be right with you in just a second. Hey, hey. Gentlemen, we'd like to present to you now the good old boys. Thank you. Thank you, and good evening, and we're glad to be here back one more time at the Red Rail. We'd like to start off with a song that's uh, been done in the 40s by a group named Johnny and Jack, and uh, also in the 70s by a group called the New Riders of the Purple Sage. Thank you. 
light that shines in your eyes has gone out to my surprise. We said goodbye, my heart played. I can revive your love, it's dead. in you, your love would stand, your every wish was my command, my heart tells me I must forget, I love you then, I love you. song David wrote a long time ago.
gonna shoot you. <laughs> You'll get us in trouble if you call us that. Now we gotta get to all the song, but we gotta do the whole show for you first and we're gonna do a lot of songs for you, okay? Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah, here's another song with uh, David and, uh, and uh, Tom here, and uh, Peter wrote in 1952. When I, I was a little kid when Peter and David wrote this song called The New Camp Town to Racist. <laughs> David always talks backwards. He ought to tell the truth about it. Too loud there. Yeah. I know the best note to hit all night, right? I'd like to get Frank to sing one now. This is an old Jimmy Rogers blues yodel. It's called uh, T for Brooklyn and T for Sunny Saratoga.
what is tuning, I'd like to introduce everybody and tell you who's playing here. On the banjo here from California, Tom Stern, give him a hand, he appreciate it. One of the best in the country. One of the finest fiddle players in the country. Uh, uh, John Glick, give him a hand, he appreciate it. On the get to, on the other mandolin here, I'm gonna use that very short. His yeah. name ain't his name ain't Peter Rowan. Don't give him no oh, hand, I'll appreciate it. <laughs> and on the bass here, people don't notice us. Super bass player Rick Renner, give him a hand. Yeah. And this boy on the guitar, uh, to be a hillbilly, he's all right. Uh, I'm from the hills of Manhattan, New York, my own self. Oh, yeah. well, he's, he's a hillbilly. Dave Nelson put some on him in a crochet. Thank you. I'd like to introduce the fellow doing all the talking here. This is, uh, this is one of the true originals of bluegrass music. Really, this is Frank Wakefield. Bless y'all. Tom, I'm going to tell you something about this. I'm going to do a very special thing here, Walter. Tell you, tell about Frank. All right, fucking down. Now, we're going to let Frank do one of his uh, spiritual numbers that are instrumentals. You've heard him do it before here. But he's going to do it on this big mandolin here. Mandola, I don't know. If you ask me, it's just a trick he's doing with a magnifying glass. <laughs> this is a very unusual instrument. This belongs to Pete back on. It's right. called a mandolin instead of a mandolin that we usually play. Hell yeah! It sounds good, more like it does now. So, <laughs> y'all be as quiet as possible while I do this thing, because I'm going to do a lot of fancy parts and a lot of <laughs> other parts. <laughs> Thank you a lot, okay? Loud enough, Becker.
thank you so much. You give me such good, and I appreciate that so much. I appreciate y'all understanding music. It makes us so happy because we love to play music. It makes us so happy. It really does. song David and Peter wrote about his girl when she broke his heart and he broke her jaw. <laughs> I guess I guess actually I'm exaggerating just a little bit. Someday, time alone can deal this broken heart. The clouds will roll away, the sun will shine someday. Darling, you toy with a toy. Now, darling, you toy with a toy. I think we came up from the start. This toy heart was broken. I'm broken. Darling, you toy with a toy. Can you turn the bass down a little bit? Yeah, and the banjo mic up. Folks, I'd just like to step in here for just a second and say one thing, and that is that the good old boys have an album coming out. And you're gonna really dig this one. It's got Frank Wakefield on here. And David Nelson. The original bluegrass fiddler, Mr. Fiddlin' Chubby Wise. The master of the banjo, Mr. Don Reno. And it was produced by none other than Mr. Jerry Garcia.
And it's called, it's called Pistol Packin' Mama. Okay, this is a song that Frank wrote a long time ago and uh, Jerry Garcia reminded him of it when he was in Fairfax, California. He forgot completely about it. And this is on the album also.
Can you turn the bass down a little bit more? We'd like to try one of the old time bluegrass tunes. That's a tune you might have heard before about Frank and Jesse James. They say they're riding again.
Excuse us because David broke the string, but we're still doing it anyway. Anyway, well, here's a song that David only has five strings. Overlook this, it's going to make it sound like a six anyway. Somebody run. Found him as quiet, fifteen pieces, fifteen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a big round of applause for the good old boys? Hey, somebody, uh, some, something gives me the impression that uh, you all would like us to do another number. Then. Okay, well the reason we took so long was the reason we took so long was that Nelson's up there changing his string, you know. He ain't too good to play with uh, five strings on a six-string guitar. So uh, he just about got it changed. Yeah, we'll do all both. Thank you a lot. Uh, yeah, no, that's, I'm glad you got us to do it. We thank you so much. David has broke two strings already and he played I want to tell you all that we played without two strings, but it sounds good, Les God. We're happy out there. Here's Big Dave now. Bless his heart. He's my oldest boy. No, I'm the oldest dad. He's the oldest boy. Thank you. You made us feel good when you give a song to it. really did. Because we always appreciate that. We love to play music. You know that. We'll play as long as you want to hear us. You know that. Because we love to play music. We really do. You know that. That's why we have good artists like you is.
Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot, Sensor. Be quiet now. We're going to do a gospel song. Okay. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Now we're going to do one better than that. We're doing this because uh, we understand there's going to be a turnover to make this feel bad. We said we've got to do some more for y'all, okay? It's such a good audience. We have to do all these songs before it makes us feel so good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come back and see us again. We had a real good time.